hello and hello again. This is Tibble Winkles, and surprisingly, we are back on Opus. Well, one thing I just realised is that Opus has indeed a free roaming mode, which is part of which in which the game game's DLC is also part of. Now, strange. Emoth remembers being really close to the sun. What are you talking about, Emoth? Don't forget that you still have a mission. Free roaming mode selected. You can keep exploring without pressure in free roaming mode. To re-experience the ending, simply go to the main menu and select normal mode. Got it. So basically, free roaming mode is only unlocked after you complete the game's story mode. And that allows you to, let's say, click on these little items then which you have um, skipped. And also, there are also items in which Emoth has mentioned, um, like, skipping over later. Like, I will look at this later. Such as this um, thumb drive. And instead of Emoth ignoring it, it adds to your curiosity locator. And one thing is that a recent DLC allows Emoth to equip stuff. So I'm going to equip Emoth's power helmet and Emoth's power armor. And if I click on it... Emoth feels strong! Lisa, look at me! Wow, I wasn't expecting to see a Roswell shipyard power armor. They're as well built as ever. Lisa, is Z? 0201PN14, the serial number. According to my data, Z0201 is the company's serial, and PN14 should be the product number. Looks strange, though. Mm. Lisa! Lisa! What is it, Emoth? Emoth knows this letter. Adding data to hyperspace locator. Okay then, now we're going to go into the telescope. And what's going to happen now is, this is going to add... Okay, after all this. Have all this, uh, let's have all this load. This unlocks a little story from the DLC called The Armor's Secret. Well, I've already done this because I thought, Oh, okay, this is just going to be like some random space stuff I can uh, continue to uh, scan. But I didn't expect this to actually have story. So I'm going to record this, albeit without my original reactions. The serial number on Eames' armor appears to contain a set of ancient coordinates. Could there be something secret? Locate. Mystery 01. So we're going to the Zeta Sector in which I actually forgot how to reach, so uh, like, bear in one moment, I'm just gonna go in random directions until I find a Zeta Sector. Okay then, I am back, I found a Zeta Sector, and even though I've came- Oh, there's something in this area. Okay, even though I came here before, I forgot that it was next to the Hetmas Galaxy. Now, I actually don't know which one I scanned. Okay, let's try this one. Similarity low. There we go, we found it. Aged debris surround the planet, likely the remains of some starship. Bro, can? Confirm. The armor's secret. Broken? Holy Earth! Incredible! Ema found something cool! Searching archive data. Target business number G925Z0201. Roswell Shipyards. Starship Building Company. Founded in Galactic Calendar 11843. 
currently owned by Roswell Corporation. Main services include production of military and research vessels. Lisa? This isn't what I need. Searching through pre-galactic records. Company rebranded in 13215 due to poor sales, abandoning its pre-galactic name. Why is Lisa talking and talking? Emuf doesn't understand what you are saying. It's Zeta, Emuf. What? The company that produced your armor. It used to be known as Zeta, named after Hetmus Galaxy Section 7. Adding data to hyperspace. Um, hyperspace locator. And there you have it. And this is the story I was mentioning. Now we're going to continue uh, searching more on the armor's mystery. So, this should give me a new thing to look at. Mystery number two. Keep exploring the area. Could there be some ancient civilization? We're getting close. I'll continue to scan. There's a... Uh... This isn't as easy as finding the biggest star and scanning it because it's now like they're all practically the same size so I'm gonna go for this. And there we have it. An asteroid cluster. Its uneven patterns resemble ancient ruins. People? Confirm. Receiving planet data. Just a bunch of rocks. Hmm. Even if we found any debris, a couple million years is a long time for a shipbuilding site to get lost. Emif gives up. I want to go find Earth. Come on, don't be a quitter. Doctor would be so sad if she saw you give up. Emif is not a quitter. Wait, Emif. That logo on your shoulder, that must be a factory label. Maybe it can give us a clue. Not a quitter! Alright, alright. Well, how about you come and give Lisa a hand? Adding data to hyperspace locator. Okay, there we go. Now, this should be the final item in the mystery. The armor bears an old logo. Perhaps it contains hidden information. Locate that. Now, I'm going to go up here to the top left. And you are going to see something very similar to the this logo. You see what's happening here? You see these, like, five stars and, like, their attempt to make a line out of it, like a letter R. Now have a closer look at this. There are three stars here and two stars there making a sort of rhomboid shape. And look at this, this is a rhomboid shape only that it's turned a bit. Now what this is, this is a star chart. And what I was doing was I was going around going, oh let's make a letter R and I was spending like about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes going around trying to like scan around here. But lo and behold, it was way over here and I was searching in the wrong corner. So there you go, let's scan one of these stars. There you have it. A fleet of ships abandoned in the shadows. This place could have been a massive spaceport. Abandoned. This could be an ancient spaceport. What is that, Lisa? Simply put, the company that made your armor may have unknowingly used a star chart as their logo, thinking it was just an ancient symbol. So it will help us find Earth? I don't think so. 
but it's still an amazing discovery. Let me do some calculations. Calculating orbit trajectory, estimating distance to target, setting navigation. It's not Earth. Don't be sad. Look, the algorithm found multiple targets. Hurry, Emuth, go check the telescope. Adding data to hyperspace locator. And there we go, calibrating telescope. According to Lisa's calculations, the telescope may be reaching its goal. So there you have it. I... let's see. We need to turn on the filter for this one. Filter. Emoth, it's around here. So I think it's the brightest one of them all. Let's scan this. Okay, there we go. We found it. Confirm ruins from an ancient civilization. The rings clearly housed remnants of a shipyard. Big ball. Confirm. Receiving planet data. Ancient site discovered, number 00100002, registering as a Hetmus Galaxy heritage. Found it! Huh. Did this place make opus? Not sure, Emoth, but this used to be a place of human activity, and to be able to see this, it just fills the identity in my biocomputer with awe and excitement. I... Can Emoth look closer? Unfortunately not. Opus's telescope was built for scanning planets. What were they doing there? I couldn't tell. The image came from millions of light years away, which means what we are seeing happened millions of years ago. Emoth doesn't understand. Can't Opus get closer so we can see? Well, Emoth, if the Hetmus Galaxy had any civilization left, we would have been contacted by now. But Emoth can see it? Alright, we'll go take a look after we find Earth. How's that? Really? Thanks, Lisa. My purpose is to serve after all, is it not, Emoth? Doesn't Lisa want to have a look? Hmm. Huh. Lisa? Emoth, as an astronomer, I'm happy enough to have witnessed a candlelight, however faint, before it gets blown out. And there you have it, that's the little story arc between Emoth and uh, the AI Lisa. Of course, there's also other items you can look at, like uh, skins for Emoth, and little other items in which I will not cover because, like, I'd want you, you guys to enjoy what, uh, what this game has to uh, offer. Like, if I click on this dog, it will allow me to click on him, and if I click on him, that helmet is so cool! And that gives me a, a coordinates for a planet to scan. But that will be everything I will cover for Opus. Well anyway, this is Opus. I hope you enjoyed my, my playthrough and coverage of this game. Thank you so much for watching. If I did a good job, give us a thumbs up. Any thoughts, please leave them in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you in our next adventure. Bye-bye.